is Brookville Local Schools. Northeast Ohio. We are in our library makerspace, uh, more specific, the Industry 4.0 Lab. We were lucky enough to, to receive uh, a couple workforce development grants to the sum of, of $1.2 million. If I want to be an electrician, there's a part for that. If I want to do stuff with robots, there's a part for that. There's no like one specific path this thing kind of goes down. Even right here, it says one right here. I like to say it's for any kind of student, really. The general idea is, oh, it's for students that, you know, they need something hands-on to be interesting. That's not entirely true. Go down the claw. We have some students who, in the future, they probably are going to go more the general technician route versus students who are going to use this class as almost like a springboard into an engineering career. It was new and upcoming, and it was a lot of interesting things. More hands-on than sitting in a classroom. This one's more of like on your own, self-paced. You just go on the Amatron website, you kind of go through all the works, and then go hands-on and start working on different pods. This class is really helpful because it kind of breaks things into, okay, here's a little bit of pneumatics, here's a little bit of electrical. Then they get to apply it on our skill boss here. So they take that kind of, you know, the more specific things and they can apply it to different machines like in industry and the companies love to see that. When they've come in for visits and saw the list of, of credentials that our students were working on, uh, right away, they, they tell us, listen, if, if, if these kids get these three or four, we'll hire them right now at $65,000. The soccer credentials are the key. They're industry-recognized credentials. It's the same training that uh, local manufacturers would provide. Most of the places are going to send you to get credentials, like what we have, like these machining credentials and like robotics. Like They're going to send you a way to get them. So when you have them, you're already a step higher than a lot of people. Every business that we've had come in here and that we've talked to has been very interested in the SACA certifications. For the kids to have that path set out for them right now of, okay, this is what I have to do to get where I want to go, uh, that's really, really good for them because they have a goal that they can stick to and they can work hard at in here so they know, okay, well, this will materialize when I graduate. 1.3, yeah. this company called Exaloy just offered me a paid internship with them. I'd be the first high school student in that company to work for them with the internship, with the credentials I've earned through this course. So that's awesome for me as a teacher, you know. Um, we talk a lot in this class about, okay, what actually is your path gonna be after college? And even throughout the district, we talk about, okay, are you going straight into a career? Are you going to college, military even? I know that when I was that age, I was not thinking about anything like that, right? I worked at an ice cream place. He's going to go do something that's in the field that he's interested in, get that experience, get a leg up on all of his peers. It's definitely a crazy opportunity and I'll take full advantage of it and I would encourage anyone else to like, take full advantage of it because like, we're one of the top programs in Ohio, probably nationwide, to have all the stuff we have and it's still growing. From here, we're in talks with local uh, universities about the potential for an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree in automated uh, leadership. I also live in this community, so for our kids here to be getting better opportunities than students elsewhere, that means a lot to me and it means a lot to the kids too. You know, it's, it's great for them to feel like, oh, we're on top in something.